very much. Victims of the Mother's Day weekend flooding who still need one-on-one -on -one help from FEMA may want to do that this week. FEMA officials say the number of people coming to the disaster recovery centers is dwindling, so they're planning on making some changes. WIMT's Angela Sparkman is in our Big Sandy newsroom with more. Angela? Steve, some, now not all, but some of the FEMA disaster recovery centers are changing after Saturday. The Small Business Administration is turning some of them into a different kind of help center in the same place. Ramona Stacy's has her house suffered flood damage outside during the Mother's Day flooding. Um, it got my building, got my freezer. She says the damage was not as bad as other victims. But on Monday, she went to the FEMA Disaster Recovery Center and found out she could get help. They was very, very good. Now we won't be able to get our air condition fixed. And FEMA representatives say they have seen more than 4,000 flood victims at the disaster recovery centers in Pike, Floyd, McGoffin, Breathitt, and Owsley counties and handed out more than $10 million. They say now the number of people going to the centers is dwindling. We are committed to stay here until the time it is deemed necessary uh, for us to pull out. But FEMA officials said they are changing some centers after Saturday. The one in McGoffin County is closing. Centers in Floyd, Owsley, and Belfry Pike County are transitioning into Small Business Administration Disaster Loan Outreach Centers. So we do encourage people to come on down. The SBA is committed to helping the citizens here in Kentucky uh, with their disaster needs as long as the, the need lasts. FEMA centers in Johns Creek and Breathitt County are staying the same. Oh, it's not too late again. I want FEMA in this year for the duration. And both FEMA and SBA representatives say they will stay in eastern Kentucky until everyone is helped. Now, all of the FEMA centers are open on regular schedule this week. The SBA Lowe centers will open up on Monday. Now, FEMA officials say they will have a representative at those centers. And if you do need one-on-one -on -one help, the phone lines are open and the Internet site, disasterassistance.gov, is also open as well. And the Big City News, I'm Angela Sparkman. Back to you. All right, Angela, thank you very much. Even